Hello and welcome to P2 Soccer Training. Today's session is going to be for our intermediate level players, age 7 to 10, and the topic is going to be passing and receiving. To start with, for our warm up in a 24 by 24 yard grid, we're going to scatter a series of discs around the area. Half the players will have a ball and the other do not. Players will take around 5 dribbling touches and then seek to release a pass to a player without the ball. Once they have done this, we can challenge the receiver to stand by a cone and take their first touch around the cone. Making it easy, we can allow unlimited touches to the players while warming up, and making it harder, we can decrease the number of touches between each pass. There's two coaching points that you should familiarise yourself with at this point, and then we're going to move on to our technical element of the session. In the same 24 by 24 yard grid, divide your area into four smaller squares, measuring approximately 12 by 12 yards each. Each of these squares will operate separately, and you'll have the same activity going on simultaneously. Assign three players to each square, and these three players will work in the square, leaving one side of it open. We start with players passing between their square. Once the players look like they're getting in a rhythm and playing maybe one or two touch, our progression would be to assign numbers to each people within the square, one through three. And then when their number is shouted, they will go to the next grid, and it will become a 2v1 inside each square. Ask the players how many passes they can get without the defender getting the ball. Making it easy, we can give the defender a ball to slow them down. Making it harder, we can ask for a minimum number of passes to be completed. There's two coaching points here that you should definitely have a look at. And the next part of our session is going to be the tactical element in a 36 by 24 yard field. Divide your area into three equal rectangles, approximately 12 by 24. And then divide into three teams and assign them a rectangle that they must stay inside. The players in the middle are the defenders. You're going to play the ball to either of the end team and they are going to try and connect five passes. One member of the defending team may enter and try and win the ball. If the team connects five passes, they play the ball to the other end of the field and the game continues with the defenders pressing from the middle. Making it easy, we can ask for fewer passes or add a neutral player to each end, and making it harder, we can ask for more passes, add a second defender, or allow the middle defenders to block the pass when switching. There's a coaching point on spatial awareness that you should have a look at here, and then we're gonna go into our game. It's small-sided, play 5v5, and try and keep all the players engaged. We should just play no goalkeepers and use small goals to encourage accurate shots, and to start with, we instruct that the players must connect three, four, or five passes before taking a shot. We always advise that you should allow time for your players to enjoy the scrimmage without any conditions. Making it real, we're gonna assign positions, set formations, and help players understand their roles within the game. There's a coaching summary on the session plan that you should definitely familiarize yourself with, and thank you very much for watching, and for more videos like these, visit us on YouTube, or visit us on p2.soccer.